with the last 50,000 I was so desperate uh, I, I, I went to pray to every God God really helped me uh, Help me to lose everything <laughs> Which, now I think about it uh, I'm glad that happened Because if I never lose everything I wouldn't have seen how I, I would have been so blinded uh, by money And wouldn't have stepped out of this To where I am today Uh, I'm Raymond, I'm 33, I'm married uh, happily with two kids, one, eight and five. I'm the owner of Raymondo Seafood Kanji and uh, I'm an ex-convict. When I was young, 11 years old, uh, never met my dad, I don't have a father figure. My grandparents one day, they revealed to me that if I know that you're going to grow up to be so naughty, right, should I have took you back? I said, what took me back? And that was when I found out I was given away for 30,000. In a, as a baby when I was three months old. That was when I felt I was only worth 30,000. 11 years old was my first time I, I, I stole a fishing tackle kit. Someone, a kind man, said I was so young, paid for me, and I got off lightly. And I thought, wow, I can get off so easily. I got into boys' home for, for, for breaking in into people's house and, stolen, and disposing of stolen items. Uh, I also met my current ex-girlfriend, uh, now my wife. So, uh, She's been with me since day one of my crime spree. She's so well versed with all the prisons because she's been to almost all the prisons in Singapore visiting me. To test a man, right, it's very simple. Uh, to give the man everything. I once had everything. I failed that test. To test a woman, very simple. You give the woman a man with nothing. And back then I had nothing. And my wife, uh, went through with me, yeah. But now, the most important thing is we, we are happily married, everything is uh, settled, we, we love one another very much. I was called to quit school, and I also, at the same time, that is when I ended myself in Geylang. Started to sell cough mixture, started to do all the vices, and uh, yeah, eventually I got caught, went to prison. Not long after, I was called to serve NS. And uh, I got caught for credit card, uh, misuse of credit card, and it's uh, under the cheating act. So with that, I also went to prison. And after 23 days of my release, I, I got caught again on a gambling cruise, breaking into a junket's room, stealing expensive and money and everything. I got off again with good lawyers by my mum. I told myself I have to change. La. I changed to become more shrewd and become more smarter. Then I started a car rental firm and I bought six cars at one shot. One year after I got 20 over cars, two years later I grew even to 40 over cars. Where they ran my car, there are sets of rules that they have to follow. If they break any of the breach of any of the rules, right, I can actually charge them a penalty, which can go up to 10,000. I would say accumulatively I did make more than a million. La. Remember I told you right, how to test a man right? This is when my true test came, I had everything. But I failed my family. I never spent time with my wife, never spent time with my kids. That's when I realised money only got limitations. Back then my daughter Vera is only two years old. She would always hide. And I cannot pay her like 20,000 or 50,000 to ask her to kind of help me. My family fell apart. I ended up to find a release, I went to the casinos. And I thought, since all the money that I've earned has no use for, I just went to squander my money, I went to gamble. I stayed in the casino for 10 over months, I buy 4D Toto, I spent thousands of dollars buying it. And I plan to, once I lose all, I will end my life. So eventually the day came, I went home so aimlessly, planning to just jump down 14th floor from my condo. I kept smoking, 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 thinking this is the last stick and I'm going to just take the plunge. With the last stick in hand, I thought this is the time to jump ready. But I thought I need to message my mum, tell her I'm sorry. I took my phone, then that's when I found out a message from my wife, she's pregnant. I thought to myself, initially I only have a daughter, but now another son come along the way. How can I just leave them fatherless, like how I am? So I went to, became a hawker. 
and I started the wonton mee store. My wonton mee store business wasn't good and I was so desperate, I needed help. I kind of like reached out to all the bloggers, but none of them replied except one, which is yeah, my current mentor, Dr. Leslie. But with a lot of hard work and a lot of sacrifice, it didn't work out. So I had to close it. So one day I was uh, delivering something to my godfather, godmother. They, they kind of asked me, hey, how, how's your hawker store going? You wanted to sell your, your seafood porridge, right? I said, huh? No way. But hey, yeah, that's a good idea. And that is how it happened. And I kind of shared with my mentor. And he said, yeah, good idea. Sell it, but the seafood, right? You need to char first, add wok hay into the porridge. So it, that, that's where you get the, the wok hay and the umami uh, that is cooked with the, seafood, uh, the porridge. So uh, the tea spoke salmon, we use a combination of tea dust and uh, apple wood to smoke my salmon for an hour. But before that also, we, we, we kind of like have to brine the salmon, which take many hours. I realized no hawker centre actually, no hawker stores are serving. It's because it's too much hectic, too, too much work. So uh, a lot of people ask actually, wow, my porridge 690 very expensive. But I, I say, yeah, but it's seafood and I give value. Once you buy, you realize actually I don't make a lot. Two big prawns, I give two scallop, which is Hokkaido scallop. And this scallop size, no hawker use, only restaurants use it. And um, I give uh, clam meat, I give smoked salmon flakes, I give uh, smoked snow surimi crab leg. So actually, if you add it up, uh, I don't make a lot. Last time, I always rip people off from my car rental, right? Now, it's my way of giving back. Lah. I want to make, way, make money through the decent way. Lah. Yeah, so I give value to people. Uh, I used to think that hawker store needs a lot of sacrifice in time. You lose a lot of time with family. But that's where I also improvise proper planning. It's not too hectic where I can cope and I can strike balance to spend time in the afternoon with my family, with my kids especially. And uh, yeah, it's um, balance and proper planning. There was one day when there was a conversation, uh, I asked my mom, hey, you have, you're now happier, no? I mean, what, my last time, so now, uh, you are now you see me like that, honor, upbeat, and you know, so now, but now you see me like that, honest, upright, making righteous kind of living. My mom said, oh, I would want to thank firstly, uh, of course, my mentor. La. My mentors, my godpa, godma, and especially my wife. Now, uh, I've turned over a new leaf, and uh, our family is blissful. And especially also my mum, she don't have to keep going to, to court to police station, to bail me, to find lawyers for me. And I'm changed. The old Raymond has died. And now, it's a newborn Raymond. Any words for your children? Um, there is no words can speak louder than how I live my life. Uh. So now, because I, I, I've got no people to follow, now I only can set the best example for my children to see, for them to learn and to be the best of what they can be. I would want to tell them I love them very much and Papa is doing the best to be the best person and the best example for you to learn so that one day when you all grow up, you all wouldn't have to follow my, my footsteps. Yeah.